There are a lot of ways to figure out where the bait fish are. Do you know one of the very best ways? Stick around. April 24, April 24. You know, it's up in one of our pecan orchards right here and you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, in just a, a very short period of time, maybe another week or two, the leaves on these trees are gonna really blossom out and, and, and they'll be full and this will be an incredibly beautiful orchard right here. There's a lot of old trees right here. I don't know how many trees are right here in this orchard right here, probably three or 400, but uh, it's just, uh, they're, they're the late trees to come out. The, the, everything else is full and bushy right now. All the oaks, all the elms, everything has got a lot of leaves on them, but the, the pecan trees are the late trees. They're, they don't come out until a lot later, but when they do, they're the most beautiful trees in the woods. At least that's what I think. We've lost a lot of these trees over the years. Uh, there'll be one or two that we lose every year. And, and of course, we, uh, we've got a little orchard right now that's got about, about 60 trees in it that's doing well. We call them our baby trees. So we, we keep planting pecan trees all the time. Now let's look and see what we got for April 24. Scriptures from Proverbs. Proverbs 15, 4. Oh my goodness, this is a really good one. Healing words give life. You know, with Proverbs, it's uh, one side of the coin, then the other side of the coin, heads and tail. Healing words give life. The tail side, but dishonest words crush the spirit. When I think of dishonest words, I think of people saying bad things about someone or something that's maybe not quite true. It might not be a total lie, but it's maybe not quite true. Dishonest words crush the spirit. Uh, you know, the old thing that your mom and daddy teaches in you when you're a little kid, you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Pretty much what this proverb is talking about. Healing words give life. Dishonest words crush the spirit. Toby Max got a song out called Speak Life. I think I've talked about that before. It's one of my favorite songs. When you speak, speak life. Don't speak words that crush the spirit. Our devotional says, my son Jamie and I catch and haul shad to our private lake to help feed the fish. We actually stock gizzard shad and threadfin shad into the lake. We catch these shad. It's a difficult, a delicate job because shad die so easily. We've learned many tricks, but the very best is adding stock salt to the water. Before you add the salt, the shad look all fuzzy and sick. Add the salt and they become sleek and healthy. Words of hope, encouragement, and joy are like adding salt to a shad tank. <laughs> Bet you never heard that. One. Words of hope, encouragement, and joy are like adding salt to a shad tank. Maybe we need to be adding some salt to our shad tank every day. They bring life and healing back to a hurting soul. We all know individuals who bring those words into every conversation with everyone they meet. How great it would be if we would all strive to be one of those individuals. I'm sure gonna try. How about you? It's a great goal for today. Try to become one of those individuals who bring those words of encouragement, of joy, and of hope into every conversation with everyone you meet. You're going to get a lot of friends today if you do that. Oh, I love it. Here's our tip for today. Watch the birds. They will show you where the bait fish are. Watch the birds. Pay attention to the birds. Uh, one of the things that I do constantly in fishing, I'm watching for birds all the time. You know, even birds like uh, red-winged blackbirds can actually tell you where fish are. Obviously, birds like blue herons. They fish for a living. Water turkeys. You know how I hate water turkeys or black cormorants. I hate them. They eat a pound and a half or two pounds of fish every day. They are the worst detriment to sport fishing in the United States. Actually, you're allowed to kill them on a private lake or a pond. Can't kill them on public lakes. I guess, I don't know why. You should be able to, but you can't. Uh, but, uh, but, but, you know, even if you watch for the cormorants, and if you see an area where there's a lot of cormorants, there's probably bait fish in that area, schools of shad in that area. Sometimes you'll see them out in the middle of the lake, a bunch of them can't ganged up in one area. Probably ought to go out there and look around with your locators and try to figure out where those bait fish are. There's a lot of tricks you can learn to find bait fish. You find bait fish, you find bass. Those birds are there for a reason in order to eat. They fish for a living. 
the same, th same things that they eat are the same things that bass eat, same things that crappie eat, same things that catfish eat. So if you will fish around where the birds are, you're going to have a lot better fishing day and have a lot of success. So pay attention to the birds. One of the things I learned when I was just a little kid out fishing, we watch for those birds. Where the birds are fishing, that's where I want to fish. All right, tell you what. I tell you what. Go out there and have you a lot of fun today. This is the very best time of the year. It's when dead comes to life, even in a giant pecan grove. Guys and girls, I love you.